Hi everyone and welcome back to our Google Chrome training. In this lesson, we're going to get organized with bookmarks. Here's the thing about bookmarks. They do require some form of organization. If not, they can quickly and easily turn into that junk drawer of links, which can cause more stress than help. So the key is to use Chrome's bookmark features effectively. So step one, to create a bookmark, click the star on the address bar. By default, it will place the bookmark in the same location you put your last bookmark. So always take a quick little look and then click edit to select the correct folder or location where you would like this bookmark to go. Also give the bookmark a better title and then click done. Speaking of locations, the bar just below the address bar is called the bookmarks bar. Bookmarks can be located here for quick and easy access. You could also place bookmarks in folders so that they are organized and out of sight. Or you can add to all bookmarks and then just simply search for bookmarks when you need them. With the bookmarks bar, you can right click and select or deselect show bookmarks bar. When selected, the bookmarks bar will show at all times. When not selected, the bar will be hidden, but it will appear when you open a new tab. This can really help you minimize the clutter. When adding a bookmark to the bookmarks bar, try another little trick. No name. So notice as a bookmark is added with no name, only the website's favicon appears. To edit an existing bookmark on the bookmarks bar, right click, select edit, Here's where you can remove that name, click save, and now look at that. It feels a little bit more organized and maybe a little bit less cluttered. Now let's take a look at our bookmarks side panel and get organized with folders. So select the three dots in the top right corner, go down to bookmarks and lists and select all bookmarks. Just like the other side panels, you can resize it, pin it or unpin it from the toolbar or use the X to close it. So in this side panel, there is a list of folders at the top, one of which is a bookmarks bar folder. Below these folders is a list of individual bookmarks. These are the bookmarks that you selected all bookmarks as the location. You can click on a folder to open it and then use the back arrow at the top to go back to all bookmarks. To add additional folders, you can select plus new folder, give it a name and press enter. Now select an existing bookmark and drag and drop it into a folder to organize it. You can do the same with folders, meaning you could have folders within folders, within folders, within folders. Down at the bottom, you can add the current tab to your bookmarks as opposed to using the star on the address bar. Along the top of the side panel, you also have the options to filter, change your view, or edit your bookmarks. Now you know how to organize bookmarks using the bookmarks bar and with folders in the side panel. Think about how you organize your files in Google Drive. Are you a folder person or are you a search person? It's okay if you're not a folder person and decide to leave all bookmarks listed here, no matter how long the list gets. The great news is the power of Google search is built right in at the top of this bookmarks side panel. So type in a search term to find the bookmark you're looking for. The key with search is to have really good bookmark titles. So spend some time figuring out if you're a folder person or a search person, and then set up these bookmarks in a way that is organized for you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.